Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to continue the discussion on LPWAN, which actually stands for Low Power Wide Area Network. Earlier on, I have mentioned that I have decided to break the LPWAN discussion into three sessions. The first one will be LoRa, second one will be Sigfox, and the third one will be MBLT. For this video, I'm going to concentrate on LoRa. What will be the topic? Okay, the first discussion will be the LoRaWAN group map. So I'm going to explain how this LoRaWAN actually evolved into a technology that is excite everyone in the wireless connectivity. Next, I'm going to discuss the difference between LoRa and also LoRaWAN. You probably hear sometime on LoRa and also sometime on LoRaWAN. So this video, I'm going to discuss the difference between LoRa and also LoRaWAN. This will be the part two series discussion on LoRa on LPWAN. So if you're keen to know more about LPWAN, please take a look on the playlist under the description. Over there, you will be able to find a series of discussion on LPWAN. This is my email. If you have any question regards on this discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and also the subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Guys, once again, thank you so much for your strong support. Let's start by discussing on the LoRaWAN roadmap. This diagram shows the LoRaWAN roadmap. Okay, the reason why I don't want to discuss recent development of LoRa is because I want you to feel how this LoRaWAN technology actually take off. In 2010, this company called Secure, they actually developed this LoRa technology. Semtech actually bought over Secure for $5 million. And later on, Semtech actually developed this LoRaWAN network. In 2015, Semtech actually create this LoRaWAN alliance. And currently, there are more than 330 members on board this LoRaWAN alliance. And this alliance, the numbers of partners actually keep on increase. Amsterdam become the first city that is fully covered by LoRaWAN network in 2015. A year later, okay, all the French territory, they are all covered by LoRaWAN network. This actually happened two years after Sigfox. Can you imagine the tedious or the challenge to cover the whole France? LoRa actually take a very short time in order to achieve all French territory that is fully covered by LoRaWAN network. What is the key difference between LoRa and also LoRaWAN? Just in case you guys mistook that LoRa actually used to name after a girl. But in short, LoRa actually stands for Long Range. The L-O-R-A actually come up the name called LoRa. And for LoRaWAN, it actually stands for Long Range Wide Area Network. And basically, it's a network protocol that is built on top of the LoRa technology. So later on, I'm going to discuss the key difference between these two. LoRaWAN is a wireless modulation technology that is mainly target for long-range machine-to-machine communication and also IoT communication. LoRa can go for long-range. Okay, however, the throughput or the amount of data that we can send over okay, will be very, very small. LoRa modulation is actually equals to church spectrum plus frequency modulation. Since LoRa is unlicensed band, okay, so basically they operate in the unlicensed ISM band all over the world. Okay, so this actually gives you a very quick understanding okay, between LoRa and also LoRaWAN. Sometimes you hear LoRa and sometimes you hear LoRaWAN. So what is the difference between LoRa and also LoRaWAN? LoRa actually contains only the link layer protocol and is mainly used in point-to-point -point communication between nodes. Over here, you can see that, for example, if I transmit over here and if I receive over here, they basically make use of this LoRa technology 
to establish communication. So LoRa is actually a technology that used to describe how we can actually send this data over a long range. So basically, this is the meaning of LoRa. LoRa when actually contain the network layer, so it is possible to send the information to any base station already connected to a cloud platform. LoRaWAN module may work in different frequency by connecting the right antenna to it. So in short over here, okay, again, you can imagine that this here to here, the end device to the gateway, you can describe them as LoRa. But as long as all these components are all LoRaWAN protocol, I can easily send this message from the end device. I can easily put them into the cloud and you can actually monitor your result or your data in the cloud. So in short, LoRa actually used to describe point to point, which means that LoRa is mainly to describe a wireless technology that enable us to send very, very long range. As for LoRaWAN, they actually contain the network layer. So if all these are all compliant to the LoRaWAN, so hence it will be very easy for me to send the data and put the data in the cloud. And therefore, I can actually easily monitor the data at the application server. So this is actually the difference between LoRa and LoRaWAN. Let's quickly, okay, before we go to this, okay, so if you find this video helpful, please support by pressing the like and also subscribe to this channel. Let's quickly come to the characteristics of LoRa. Okay, the receiver sensitivity of LoRa is around minus 142 dBm. How to compute the link budget basically will be the transmit power minus the receiver sensitivity. Okay, I hope you can see that on my part one series discussion on LP1, I have mentioned that in order to be compliant under low power, the transmission power must be less than 25 milliwatt which is around 40 dBm. And therefore, my transmit power is 40 dBm. I have my receiver sensitivity. Okay, I can actually compute that my link budget is equal to 156 dB. Okay, LoRa has low bandwidth okay, and also low data rate. And the basically, the data rate is from 300 bits per second to 50 kilobits per second. I like to highlight this. For LoRa, the data rate actually varies. Okay, which means that I actually varies from 300 bits per second to 50 kilobits per second. It actually depends on spread factor. However, for Sigfox and MBLT, the data rate is actually fixed, which means that there is only one number for the data rate. As for LoRa, it actually spreads from 300 bits per second to 50 kilobits per second. LoRa actually use low power when they actually use low power Okay, it actually can be sustained by using a small and portable battery. It support bi-direction, which means that both uplink and downlink. Okay, as for Sigfox, mainly they support on the uplink, very little on the downlink. But for Sigfox, uh, sorry, but for LoRa, it actually support both uplink and also downlink communication. The end device of the LoRa device are allowed to roam, which means that they are actually allowed to move from place to place. LoRa has a strong indoor penetration. And if you really need, you can actually adjust your spread factor. When we actually adjust the spread factor, we can accommodate up to 20 dB of penetration. Okay, LoRa actually use spread spectrum and hence they occupy the whole entire bandwidth of the channel to broadcast a signal. Okay, this actually makes this very robust to channel noise. With this, i like to end my discussion. Again, guys, please help this channel by subscribe to this channel and also like this video. Once again, thank you so much. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye for now.